Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Today we're going to take a look at SH Figure Arts, Shinkosho Seho, Comrade Akiva, and Perform. And of course, this is from Comrade Akiva. I've always been a really big fan for Akiva, so I'm just really happy that this line is um, continuing. And yeah, um, they actually displayed Saga prototype not too long ago, so very excited for that as well. Anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. Um, I've always been a big fan for like shining figures, so yeah, this is really cool, and let's check it out. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging, looking absolutely beautiful, and let's check it out. Alright, and here we have the figure itself, and my first impression on this figure is of course really really good. Um, first of all, I'm a big fan for Comrade Akiva, so I'm bound to be a little bit biased. And second of all, I love everything like metallic and just shiny, and this one is especially shiny. And yeah, um, Ben always does a really good job with these figures, and this one is no exception. In fact, I think this one is exceptionally good. And let's just take a closer look at the figure. Again, I love the metallic paint, um, the attention detail is all there. I know some people complain about the color of the gold because I think when they first announced it, it kind of has like this Saint Seiya kind of gold where um, people were expecting. But the final product, as you guys can see here, um, it's uh, I think it looks really good. Uh, we get two kinds of gold, we have metallic red, um, even like the gem over here, um, it's made of translucent plastic, it looks really really good. Um, there's a lot of detail on him, so I think let's just take a moment and take a look at these. I'm not usually very good at describing these details, but you guys can see, he looks just beautiful. And the cloth goods, of course, is really sturdy, like the Dark Kiva. So, yeah, I don't feel like I'm going to tear anything anytime soon, but I'm still going to get a spare one just in case. Um, this figure is that good, and I'm that big of a fan. But anyways, um, let me know in the comments on what you think, and let's check out the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. He can look up about this much. Look down. Um, wait, I'm pretty sure he can. No, I can't really look down. He can tilt his head side is that no problem. And his shoulder, I don't think there's a pull out joint, but um, yeah, it's a really nice range for uh, the ball joint. And you can let me just be careful with this. You can raise his arm up only about this much. And the shoulder piece is on a hinge and a ball joint. And you can curl about this much. You have bicep swivel and um, ball wrist. Okay, I'm not even sure if I was on the camera. But yeah, um, pretty standard, just like Dark Kiva. And for the ab crunch, you guys can tell I'm really, really careful. I don't want to chip any pain or anything because this guy is really expensive. But he can bend forward about this much, bend backwards about this much, which is quite a lot considering he's got all this armor. Um, you are able to move the pieces over here um, just to give you a little bit more range, so that's really nice. And for the body, you have some really good side-to-side -side movement. For the leg, these are on a really soft material, so that's really nice. You can kick up about this high, bend about this much, fly swivel, side-to-side -side pivot, and toe hinge. And I believe that's it for the articulation. Um, it's pretty standard. You can basically do um, pretty much everything you want, I believe. Um, we'll check out during the action posing, but overall, it feels really good. And for the accessories, it is really straightforward, so I'm just going to save some time and do it in one take. Um, first of all, we have a pair of his signature style posing hands, which is over here. Um, this is really nice. I bet his girlfriend really likes that. And then we have a pair of just relaxed open hands. These are always really, really good um, for just action posing in general, and they're all very nicely painted and sculpted, of course. And then we get a pair of hands for him to hold um, those whistle thingy. I'm gonna put them on during the action posing. And then lastly, we have a pair of hands for him to hold his um, signature weapon, the Kiva blade. I forgot the name of it, but um, yeah, this can be used as a display open hands as well. So that's really good. And here is the sword. Um, this thing is really cool. It looks like it's silver, but under lights, it's actually like really shiny. You can see like the rainbow reflection. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see on the camera because I can't really see it right now. But yeah, it reflects under the light. But I don't know. I really like the translucent version back in the day still. Um, that was really fun. And of course, you are able to do it like the show. You can move this. But um, I am a little bit afraid of paint chipping, so I probably won't do this too often. And um, you will be able to take this off over here like so. And here is the Dark Kiva's sword. Wait, that, that kind of like snaps it out, right? Yeah, yeah, so it is kind of tight, but not really. But yeah, for such an expensive figure, I will be really careful with this. And then, of course, you have um, 
Wait, let me show you guys. You have the finishing move where you can like take this and put it like right here. And this is supposed to be like from the sword. Yeah, we have like a bigger piece version. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Basically, you can do anything like um, the TV show. And then we do get um, the little Kifa driver for um, his son, supposedly, um, in the last episode. I did not remember that all too well. I had to like double check what this was. But anyways, um, I believe that's everything. And let's check out some action posing. And for the size comparison, let us start with some Kamen Rider Kiva figures from the same series, and I think they look amazing together. And funny story, like Kamen Rider Kiva is actually my first Kamen Rider show when I first became an adult. And by that I mean like, um, when I was a kid I used to watch Kamen Rider, but I think I was more into Power Rangers, so I didn't really remember much for Kamen Riders. And I think this is around like 2014 when I first started collecting SH Fig Arts. Um, I was into Dragon Ball, but... Um, at the time, there wasn't really much to collect, so I quickly ran out of stuff to buy. And I saw like Ixa from Amazon, it was like recommended to me, so I bought Ixa. And that's how I started collecting SH Big Arts. And um, that's also when I started like going back and watch some of the newer Kamen Rider. But anyways, um, let me know in the comments on what you think. I'm definitely a big fan. Hopefully the line continues to do well, which I think it will. And yeah, um, hopefully they release that saga. And next up, we have some Kamen Riders and the only two Power Rangers I have left. Um, I wonder what they're going to do with the Sentai line. I'm really, really curious because I know they're rebooting the line. But yeah, let me know in the comments on what you think too. And then we have some random SH figure arts I have around. If you are still looking for Akatsuki robe, um, I still have them in stock, I believe. And lastly, we have some Figma figures. And let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, this one is definitely a must-have in my opinion. Um, it's the pinnacle of Kamen Rider SH Fig Arts. Um, I don't think we're going to see a better Kamen Rider Kiva Emperor form for a very, 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 very long time. Um, and yeah, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. This figure is just beautiful. Um, there's nothing else to it. And yeah, this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.